Hello, Tauruses. How are you? <clears throat> this is a love relationship reading for the sign of Taurus. You guys have been asking for, um, for me to do some special readings for relationships, love. You know what? Relationships can be even with friends and family. This is a human connection to two people uh, or more. Can be more people involved also, but it, these are for uh, love and relationships and just that human connection. And this is for Taurus. So how is everybody? Hello, and thanks for coming in. Um, while I'm shuffling the cards, oh, a couple beautiful jumpers out there for Taurus. Um, while I'm shuffling the cards, can I get you to drop down right now? Hit that like button, subscribe, and then please share it if it resonates with you. Um, let other people know that there's some old school biker chick out here. Um, see it up there on the wall? Okay. Uh, out here doing tarot readings. I have a little different insight than a lot of people do. Lived a lot of lives, seen a lot of stuff. Um, but let's do this relationship reading for Taurus. All right. I did have those two jumpers that came out. Uh, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Two of Pinnacles. Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Wow. Um, Taurus. I think the person you're dealing with may have uh, broke your heart. Um, uh, the Three of Swords is usually a, a big indicator of something that's transpired that hurt your feelings. Um, I do feel with the Ace of Swords that it was something uh, verbal. It kind of came out. It was sharp and it cut right to the core. It cut you right to the quick. This heartbreak may even have been a another person in the picture because the Two of Pentacles indicates somebody juggling something. Yeah. Um, Taurus, this is looking like a love relationship, definitely. And somebody has cheated on you. Uh, I can see it. I can feel it. The chills are going up the back of my uh, neck right now. Taurus, you're ready to walk away. Yeah, your heart's broke. This person came out of the chute with everything that was all happy and content. Um, they may be a little bit of a a player because of the the juggling and the three of swords. But if you notice those three people are kind of happy and content. And then with the five of cups, the three of happy and content cups are spilled and spent. Uh, happiness kind of not, not there. Um, this person really did hurt you. They literally broke your heart. I think I'm feeling that you're coming back from this, though, Taurus. Um, I have a cat down here at my ankles, if you're wondering what I'm doing. She's curling up, or he is curling up around my ankle, and I am just trying to keep him down there. Yeah, that Three of Swords telling me that, um, bam, too many players on the field. And I think you still absolutely love and care for this person, but there is a new opportunity that's going to come around Taurus um, because you're beginning, you're taking the steps to walk away. Let's throw out some more clarifiers for Taurus for this love relationship reading. Uh, the strength card jumped out for you, Taurus. <clears throat> Oh, we 
these are slippery cards. I don't mind one or two jumpers, but when, oh, that one wants out. Um, when too many jump out, you have to go by instinct. All right, no more jumpers. Yeah, you know what, Taurus, there is a new beginning coming. You know, it, it, you're healing. You're taking that time for yourself. Um, that's where the strength card has come in. You know, you're kind of trying to pull your shit back together. This really stunned you. It it, it really on a minute, it actually put you on your knees for a minute. Um, but you're coming back out of this and you're come, coming back stronger and more resilient. That's what the strength card is about. The three of wands is telling me that you're finally starting to turn your back on what did not serve you. Um, and are looking at the potential out at, on your horizon. You're beginning to heal. You're starting to look around. You're starting to see what opportunities are out there for you. Um, then we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the beginning of something new. This is, Ten is the, it's the last one before you start getting into the, um, the knights and the kings. Um, and this is the completion of that cycle. You're wrapping it up with this person. Um, it could be, it could be a, um, let's see, what have I got on the table here? Oh, it could be a fire sign. Could be actually a Leo is kind of what I'm feeling for Taurus. All right, let's throw out a couple more clarifiers. Yep, something new is coming. Here comes the page of wands on the scene. Kind of coming in saying, look, there's a little bit more behind um, what's going on here. There's a little bit more to come. Don't throw in the towel, Taurus. Um, you may be walking away from that relationship, but don't throw in the towel on life. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that's getting ready to happen uh, for you. The things are coming, going to turn around. We have the four swords that also comes up. It took you a long time to come to this decision and make this choice. What hasn't been easy for you to decide to walk away. You were literally afraid that you would not have enough pinnacles to pay the bills with. Okay. But you also get the Ten of Cups. There it is. That's that rainbow. That's the happy ever after card. You are going to feel so much better once you cut ties and walk away, Taurus. Um, this relationship no longer serves you. It did for a while. I feel the two of you have grown apart. Um, you, I, other than some sharp sharp words. I don't feel that you've been really negative to each other. This other person looks to have quite possibly what they've been juggling has been some kind of a, um, an obsession that they have. Now I don't know if this obsession can be abdic uh, an abdic <laughs> addiction, abdiction, um, but it could be an addiction. It could be just a kind of an obsessive compulsive disorder. It could be I need one more card to see. Here it is. Um, yeah, you kind of hung around too long in one spot. You kind of know that this thing is over. The end, those two tens on the table tell me that you're really looking to step out and away because of that new beginning that's coming. And the card that is, the final card is the sun card. Um, this happened for the last reading I did. It, it, with the shuffling and the order that you lay them out in and the way they fall, this technically 
should not have come out again, but it is the energy for what's going on now and today. A lot of that air energy carries over all of the, the readings. But there you have it, uh, a bright new beginning. Once you're finished with your healing and have walked away, uh, you're not quite ready to move forward, but I want you to know that that new beginning is around the corner. There, It's there. Um, take that time for yourself. Heal, grow, get back into your own confidence, get back into your own strength and your own power. You cannot move forward in a positive, successful way if you haven't done the inside work. All right, Taurus, that's your relationship reading today. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make it apply. Drop down and, and subscribe, would you please? All right, you guys, I never leave that I don't leave you with love and light. See you soon.